Hey everyone, today's video is about when you take a shot for him. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. It was finally the date that you have been waiting for after a lot of busy weeks. You have been studying really hard. You and him, even though you weren't much of a hard worker. He forced you to study this time though. Telling you that it's better if you just get good grades. And it will be way better for your own health too. That you will feel proud of yourself and be happy that you did that. He will be proud of you too. So you tried. You studied as hard as you could. And it actually brought out some good results. You got straight A's. <sighs> I'm so happy for what I did. See, I told you. I'm always right. Yeah, you totally are. You were definitely happy with what just happened. So, you told him that you were just going on a date with him. And that he cannot refuse to go. So he agreed, going with you to that cat coffee. He also knew that you liked cats. So, when you were planning on which place to go, he told you what about a cat coffee, and you agreed. He's not really interested in two cats, but he doesn't hate them. He's just a dog type more. Because first off, they are quite loyal. And let me tell you something. Bakugo loves loyal people and animals. And cats, they betray you whenever they see food. So... They aren't that loyal. And second off, cats are a little bit soft, cuddly. Dogs are quite like that too. Some of them, and some are not. Bakugo loves that dog that keeps barking, but at the same time doesn't bark a lot. But he also loves the aggressive dogs. The dogs that, you know, look like they're about to fight. And bite off someone's luck for him. He loves those dogs. So anyways. After you went to the cat coffee. You felt like something was weird. Don't you think something's weird? Huh? What do you mean? I don't know. Like there's a weird vibe in the air. Don't you feel it? No. Well, alright. So what are you gonna order? Just coffee. Black coffee. Mm hmm. You have a really dark heart. What? Nothing. Then what about you? What are you gonna get? I was thinking about a nice frappuccino. What the hell is that? <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, honestly, I just... I don't know what I want. I feel like I want a nice something, but I don't drink frappuccino. Can I just get iced coffee? I haven't drank <gasps> boba. I can just get boba. Yeah, right. Just get boba, I guess. None of my business. Do you want dessert or something? I'm going to get a chocolate cake. No. All right. He immediately went and got your order and then sat down next to him. Yo, Katsuki, um, don't you think those guys are just staring at us weirdly? Huh? He immediately looked at where you were pointing at and then he noticed. Now that you pointed it out, I feel like that. Uh, should we just leave? Hell no. If something happens, we have our hero license. Yeah, right. We can just fight them off with our powers. But what if they are villains? What if they have powers too? I guess sucks then. Or they look like humans. Could be Toga. What? Nothing. So the order is here. Come on. Let's drink in here. I'm just gonna try to ignore them. Unless something happens, of course. Yeah, right. 
After he finished eating and drinking, Bakugo said that he was just going to the bathroom. So, he paid for your order and went outside. It feels really weird. Yeah, definitely. A girl's voice said. He turned around and saw that she was the girl that was sitting on there. Uh, who are you? Someone that you wouldn't try to even know. It doesn't matter anyway. Your life ends now. She pulls out a gun. And just as she was about to shot you, Bakugo comes. Hey, what the hell are you doing? He shot explosives towards her, but she ran and avoided them. <sighs> Didn't the guy distract you? No, he's passed out. Come on. 2 one one isn't fair, you know. Life is unfair, when we all know that. She was about to shot him now. And just as she was about to pull the trigger, he immediately stood in front of him and took the shot for him instead. Why on? He shouted and grabbed you from the back and then sent an explosive towards the girl. She immediately passed out and he went to you again, checking you. Hey, why on? Stay awake with me. Don't you dare die on me. Katsuki. Shh. Don't talk. Just relax, okay? But don't close your eyes. Just focus on breathing and staying awake. I can't. I'm so tired. No, baby, no. Why did you even do that, huh? I could have handled that. Why? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. After he called for the ambulance, he saw that you were finally losing your consciousness. Wyatt? Wyatt, wake up. No. You stood still, not even moving a finger. Wyatt. The ambulance took you and Bakugo to the hospital. They checked him over for any injuries, but he only had a few bruises from when he was fighting with the guy. After you were done, and they got the bullet out of you, he quickly made his way to your hospital room. He saw that you were still napping yet. It must have been a long day. I'm sorry it wasn't perfect, Lion. I swear, I'll make them all better. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked the video. Happy ending, but sad ending. I'm sorry. Anyways, love you all so much. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.